Hey, it's Mac from Smile, and today we're looking at how your loyalty program can promote a specific product. Specifically, we're focusing on the free product reward, which can drive engagement to a specific area of your site. Customers redeem their points to get this product for free. Now, this combined with a Shopify admin hack can actually limit the product to the loyalty program, meaning it can't be purchased with cash. This forces customers to make repeat purchases to get enough points to be able to get the product at all. Let's jump into the settings to see how it works. So in order to add a hidden product, we're going to start in the Shopify admin of your store in this product section here. We're gonna go and we're going to add this new product that will be available for points and won't be for sale in the store. Um, I have a hanging flower pot that we're going to set up. And I'm just going to fill out some basic information here about it. Okay, you're going to go ahead and fill out the rest of the product information as you would for any other product on your store. So if you're going to have it available at both locations or I don't have a point of sale, so it's only going to be available for online, um, fill out this information. Just be sure to leave this collection space blank. This will be very important for showing how to make a hidden object. Um, so leave this blank and then fill out everything else as you normally would. And then when we're all done, we're gonna set this as draft as we set up uh, our website and we're going to hit save. So if we go back, we can see our product here that we have set up. Now to make sure that our product doesn't show up on our homepage when we go to set it to active, we need to edit how customers get to products. Now we can do this by going to the online store and the navigation. Next, I'm gonna click on the main menu. Now, the button that I have on the main store for customers to get to all of the products is this decor button. Now, if we hit edit, you can see here that it's currently linked to all products. Instead, I wanna connect it to all collections. So now it's going to show all of the products that are in any of the collections. Even though that other product is not in a collection, that means that product will not show up when customers click on this navigation link. We'll hit apply changes and we'll save our menu. Now we wanna go back and set that product to active. We're gonna to go to products, our hanging flower pot, and set it to active. Again, making sure that it's not in a collection here. And save. So now we're back in our store. And if we go to this decor button where customers can access our products, all of the products are within collections here. So if we go through the collections individually, you will see that the product that we set up, the, the hanging flower pot, is essentially hidden. Customers cannot access it anywhere directly on the site. They can't navigate to it. But I'm going to show you how customers can redeem it with points. So we're going to go back to Smile Admin to set that up. Now the next step is inside Smile Admin. We're going to go over to Program, Points, and then scroll down to Add Ways to Redeem here. And this is where we can set up that free product. Now the free product is only available on Growth Plan and above. Scroll down here to the free product reward. And now we can search for our free product. You can either hit Browse and all of your store's products will show up here, or you can type in the exact name of the product uh, in the line in the search bar above. Here's our hanging flower pot for $12 we'll select. Now we have the value of the product, $12. And to stay in line with our reward scheme, um, 100 points is equal to $1 in value. So for this product, we're going to do 1,200 points just to stay proportional for the already existing rules. That way the customer still has to spend the same amount of money to redeem this product as they would if they were redeeming a $12 off coupon or something like that. If you want to change the icon over here, you can. We want to make sure it's in this active status. Uh, and then we're going to hit create. So that's automatically going to change the name to free and then whatever the name of the product is and then coupon. You can edit that if you'd like to. Once that's all set, we'll go back to rewards 
and you can see that that product is here for exactly how many points. Now let's jump over to the live site. We're gonna hit refresh. And let's say I'm a customer and I'm shopping around. If I go into decor, I'm looking through the different collections here. There's some nice products, um, but that flower pot will not be visible, that product that we added because it's not in a collection. So, you know, I'm shopping around and it's not visible on any of the regular navigation. But if we go into our panel here, we scroll down, you can see that I have enough points to redeem it. We're going to scroll down and you can see ways to redeem here. Then there's our free hanging flower pot coupon. We'll view it, we'll hit redeem. And then at that point, we can add the product to the cart. So even though the product does not visibly exist anywhere on the site, when we go to checkout, you will see that this hanging flower pot product has been added to the cart. And when we go to checkout, the product will be in the cart and the checkout as normal. So it'll be here, it'll fulfill like a normal product as long as you filled out the normal fulfillment information on Shopify admin, and that coupon code is discounting it fully. So that's how you add a hidden product onto your store and use Smile as a way to get customers engaged to try to redeem it. This hack works great for products that do well with exclusivity. For example, sneakers or a new variant of a popular item or even dead stock from a previous season. Hopefully this video inspired you to be creative with your loyalty program. Feel free to drop into the comments if you have any questions. Thanks.